greetings and salutations. Um, just, yeah, after all the experimentation I've done with the Crack Mechleth, I'm, I was going to try and do something with this, and I've gone to the point where I'm like, I'm honestly not sure if it's worth trying to fix it in the way of, I've started puttying up this one side, and as you can probably see here, I've been sanding things down, but new cracks are appearing. I think that's because of the um, the changes in the moisture and everything like that. So that's why I've got my other mechleth has had some new cracks appear, or these cracks have deepened. For that, I don't particularly care. But for this one, I'm thinking of uh, cleaning it fully. And the only thing that's really going to attack the spray putty acetone. So I'm going to probably sand all this bullshit off and I'm going to hit it. And that's probably going to bring this back down to wood. It's probably going to cut through everything, all the previous layers. And that's actually probably for the best. In situations like this, you know, where you've got, especially you've got several layers of paint, everything can be conflicting. Just clean it down. You can use rag if you want. You might as well just use some Paper toweling is disposable, you know, it's not going to gunk up your fabrics and ultimately you just want to get it down to nothing and start all over again. Let's see.
So I finished uh, cleaning it down with the acetate. Um, as you can see, most of it's back down to wood. You can even see the original uh, spray putty. I'm not gonna bother too much about cleaning that because it's already kind of filling in a lot of these gaps from where it was laser cut. Oh yeah, laser cut, it's not perfectly smooth. It tends to jutter, at least uh, this particular one does. Putty will cover most of that up, but you'll, sometimes you'll have to usually sand down those burnt edges because they won't take uh, painting that very well. That's why primers are very useful. You can probably also see there's all these patches. That's actually the old uh, wood putty from some of the various layers, and that's just stayed in there and you know, I can rub all that down. But I also need to redo all these scratches that were just basically marked just from the spray paint itself. I did just go over the edge once or twice just to get those microfilters. Oh yeah, so these are the black nitrate gloves, which are you know kind of now very popular amongst uh, prop builders and stuff because they're really good. But you know, the acetate, acetate, the acetone just basically just ate through it. There's no, no real biggie, because I will essentially just go over this with a couple of sanding uh, blocks and stuff like that as I'm getting the putty up, so I'll be cleaning this of all, any dirty oils before I go to paint. So at the moment, not necessarily a big deal. I've only got a small amount of putty left. I do have some other putty, uh, just some putty filler. Actually, that's the stuff I bought from Malaysia. That's Good, uh, yeah, just, you can get stuff from uh, Bunnings. I might just use this. It's essentially the same thing. This is a little bit better for wood, but I use this stuff on foam. Make sure you seal it. Actually, sometimes you just whack a little bit of water in there if you're gonna keep it for a long period of time. If it's not covered up right, it just tends to just dry out. Oh, it's currently 35 down here, so yeah, I'll be very careful to uh, not leave that exposed. Uh, this actual tub has a really, really good seal on it. I've bought some of these tubs in the past and the seal has been atrocious, like it'll just flop off. So make sure you get a good one with a nice seal. Uh, yeah, and just a little bit of water will help keep that somewhat fresh. And also you can kind of just use a bit of a, uh, you know, dried up old putty, put it back in, you tend to loosen back up. Not recommended, but if you're in a pinch, you can kind of rehydrate some putty. Uh, I've done that to this plenty of times and, oof, I'm glad you can't smell that, but it's down to the wire and it's just a slosh, but that's fine. Uh, it does tend to dry as you work with it, so you just put it back in, rehydrate it, you would be good. Oh. So I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna just do for this, uh, in case you didn't see it. I finished the cracked mechleth, and I've done a video on weathering, so please check that out. I've added a little bit of duct tape handle. That must be a little bit inspired by the latest Tomb Raider game and her new knife, I love her new knife. Some some rust on there to really sell the idea that this is kind of a bit older. So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, click the bell, all that bullock. Please let me know if you want me to do any particular props or, or at least particular techniques. I tend to build to what I'm doing throughout the year, like I'm working on Mario, so I just done some Mario boots. I'm doing my new Ghostbusters. I'm hopefully gonna get started on my Dr. Octopus soon, so I'm looking forward to doing some videos on that, but we'll see. So, see ya.